On Friday, February 12th, around 5 p.m., multiple calls came in to 911 reporting a car driving erratically with a possibly intoxicated driver. Officers from the Spring Grove Police Department quickly located the vehicle and initiated a traffic stop. trying to turn around or something. Coming to 146. Just going to relate your stop for 12 and Eckwood. 10 for gate 20 in a minute. The driver of the vehicle was Mark Jensen, who had previously been convicted in Illinois for reckless homicide for a 1999 incident where Mr. Jensen was accused of running a red light hitting another vehicle and killing a passenger of the vehicle while being under the influence of alcohol. How you doing? Good, how are you? Well, what's up with your driving, man? Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Hands out of your pocket. All right, step out of the car for me. Don't touch anything, just step out. Just step out, don't touch anything. Okay. Step out of the car. Upon approaching the vehicle, the officer noted a strong smell of cannabis, and Mr. Jensen was clearly impaired. Am I drinking today? Um, drinking, smoking some weed, I can smell it. Your pupils are the size of a tip of a pen. So what's going on? Nothing? Keep your hands out of your pocket. How much have you had to drink today? How much alcohol have you had to drink? I had a beer earlier. You had a beer earlier? Yeah. Okay. Are you smoking weed and driving too? No. No, it smells like you are. At the time of this incident, the recreational use of cannabis was legal in Illinois. However, all cannabis was required to be in its original dispensary packaging. So this is the uh, can, hands out of your pocket. And it's worth noting that it's unlawful to smoke or consume cannabis before driving in any state. What was that? Sorry? What, what did you say? I didn't see anything. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. What's in this pocket here? What's in this pocket? Huh? Huh? What is in this pocket? I don't What? Right. So how much have you had to drink? While speaking with the officer, Mr. What's Jensen up? has great difficulty responding in a coherent manner and is clearly under the influence. What? Hurry. How much alcohol have you had to drink today? You want any kind of medicate? Are you taking Here, medication? the officers request to gather further evidence against Mr. Jensen, and he agrees. Okay. Are you willing to do some field sobriety tests for me? Yes. Yes? Okay. You just stand right here. Stand right here and face my squad car. You stand right there for a second. What's your name? Mark. Mark what? Jensen. Where are you from, Mark? Where are, are you from? Where are you from? Where are we from? Yeah, where do you live? I live in McHenry. McHenry? Where are you going to? Home. Home? Okay. See you tip my finger? Yes. With your eyes and your eyes only, I want you to follow tip my finger with your eyes, okay? Do not move your head. Do you understand? Yes. You see my, can you see this? Right okay, use your eyes and follow my follow tip of my finger, okay? Look 
at my finger. You can't even follow it. All right, put your feet together, arms down to your side. Stand like this. Yes. I want you to hold that, arms down to your side. Hold that position, okay? We're gonna do the one leg stand test. You have anything wrong with your feet, ankles, knees, legs? No. What's that? No. Okay. When I'm done instructing, you're gonna start the test, okay? Do you understand? You're gonna pick up any foot you wish, six inches off the ground like so. You're gonna count out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, up to 30, or I tell you to stop. You understand? Okay. Okay? All right, so go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Start the test. Okay. Turn around, bud. You're under arrest for DUI. And County 3, Spring 143. After the tests are performed and fail, the officers place Mr. Jensen under arrest and begin a search of his vehicle. Right now, watch your head when you sit in there, okay? like a, a bong in there. Oh God, bada bing, bada boom. That's a lot. I just picked it up. Yep. Are these uh, THC vapes or? Maybe. Is that what he has in his pocket? Yeah, that's what he has. He has one of those. What's in here? A large bag of cannabis, THC cartridges, and alcoholic beverages were found during the search. And while in custody, alcohol, cocaine, and ketamine were all found in his system. Are you smoking weed and driving too? Are you smoking weed and driving too? Are you smoking weed and driving too? Oh, Mr. Jensen pled guilty to one count of aggravated driving under the influence with a prior reckless homicide conviction, a class three felony, in exchange for his other charges being dropped. He was sentenced to 30 months in jail. Overall, Mr. Jensen gets a D for having reckless disregard for the safety of other people around him and for driving in such a state of intoxication that he is unable to even converse with the officers. Officers from the Spring Grove Police Department get an A for a job well done. Please subscribe for more police videos and remember, stay out of trouble.